Welcome to Phuket. This beautiful island is full of life. The streets are busy and exciting. There are so many things to see and do here. Phuket has many ways to travel. You can ride in a tuk-tuk or take a taxi. You can use an app on your phone to get a ride. There are also buses and motorbikes. Each way of traveling is different and fun. You'll get to see Phuket in a new way with each ride. Are you ready to start your adventure? Let's go. Enjoy exploring this amazing island. Let's start with tuk-tuks. These are small, open-air vehicles. They have three wheels and a colorful roof. Tuk-tuks are a fun way to travel in Phuket. You'll see them everywhere, especially in busy areas and near hotels. Riding in a tuk-tuk is exciting. The wind blows through your hair as you zip through the streets. It's like being in a moving chair with a great view. Tuk-tuks are perfect for short trips around town. Tuk-tuks don't have meters. This means you need to agree on a price before you ride. A short trip might cost 100 to 200 baht. Longer trips will cost more. Always talk about the price first. It's okay to bargain a little, but be polite. Tuk-tuks are more expensive than other options. Enjoy your tuk-tuk ride. Next, let's look at taxis in Phuket. These are more comfortable than tuk-tuks. They have air conditioning, which is nice on hot days. Taxis are good for longer trips or when you have luggage. In Phuket, you'll see many yellow and red taxis. These should use a meter. The meter starts at 50 baht, then it goes up as you travel. A short trip might cost 100 to 200 baht. Longer trips will cost more. Always make sure the driver turns on the meter. Taxis are great for airport transfers. They're comfortable for the long ride. From the airport to Patong Beach, it might cost about 800 baht. To Phuket Town, it's about 550 baht. Remember, there are plenty of taxis in Phuket. Now let's talk about Grab. This is a smartphone app. It's like Uber, if you've heard of that. Grab is very popular in Phuket. It's easy to use and can save you money. To use Grab, you need to download the app. Then you can order a ride with just a few taps. The app will show you the price before you book. This means no surprises. You can pay with cash or card. It's very convenient. Grab offers different types of rides. You can get a car, just like a taxi, or you can choose a motorbike for a quicker trip. The prices are often cheaper than regular taxis. For example, a trip that costs 200 baht in a taxi might be 150 baht with Grab. Give Grab a try during your Phuket visit. Section five, Songtaos, affordable local buses. Let's move on to Songtaos. These are local buses in Phuket. They're also called blue buses because of their color. Songtaos are the cheapest way to get around the island. They're great for budget travelers. Songtaos look like small trucks. They have two benches in the back for passengers. The name Songtao means two rows in Thai. These buses don't have air conditioning, but they're open air, which can be nice on a breezy day. The cost of a Songtao ride is very low. It's usually between 20 and 50 baht per person. The price depends on how far you're going. You pay when you get off the bus. Songtaos run on set routes. They go between Phuket town and the beaches. Section six, airport bus connecting you to Phuket. Now let's talk about the airport bus. This is a great option if you're arriving in Phuket. The bus connects the airport to popular areas. It's comfortable and air conditioned. Plus, it's much cheaper than a taxi. The airport bus runs from early morning until late at night. It leaves about every hour. The bus stops at several places. These include Phuket Town, Patong, Kata, and Karan. The journey takes about one and a half to two hours. This depends on traffic and your destination. The cost of the airport bus is very reasonable. It's only 100 baht per person to Phuket Town. To the beaches, it's 150 baht. You can buy tickets at the airport or on the bus. It's a nice introduction to the island. Section 7, Motorbike Rentals, Freedom on Two Wheels. Let's move on to motorbike rentals, a popular choice for many visitors. This is a popular option in Phuket, offering convenience and flexibility. Renting a motorbike gives you freedom to explore the island. You can go wherever you want, whenever you want, without being tied to a schedule. It's great for exploring the island at your own pace, discovering hidden gems along the way. 
you can find motorbike rental shops all over Phuket, making it easy to rent one. They offer different types of bikes to suit your needs. Scooters are the most common and are perfect for navigating the busy streets. These are easy to ride and good for beginners, providing a smooth introduction to motorbiking. Bigger motorbikes are available for experienced riders who want more power and speed. Prices start from about 200 baht per day, making it an affordable option. Longer rentals can be cheaper, so consider renting for several days or even weeks. To rent a motorbike, you need a driver's license, which is a standard requirement. Some shops might not ask for this, but it's important to have one for your safety and legality. You should also have travel insurance to cover any potential accidents or mishaps. Riding a motorbike can be risky, especially if you're not used to Thai traffic, so always wear a helmet. With these precautions, renting a motorbike can be a fun and exciting way to see Phuket, offering an unforgettable experience. Section 8, Motorbike Taxis, Quick Rides Through Traffic. Now let's talk about motorbike taxis. These are a fast way to get around Phuket. They're great for short trips. Motorbike taxis can zip through traffic easily. This makes them faster than car taxis in busy areas. You can spot motorbike taxi drivers easily. They wear colorful vests, usually orange or red. They wait at busy corners or near popular spots. To get a ride, just walk up and ask. Tell them where you want to go then agree on a price before you start. The cost of a motorbike taxi is usually less than a car taxi. A short ride might cost 50 to 100 baht. Longer trips will cost more. Always agree on the price first. Motorbike taxis are great for solo travelers or couples. Section 9. Buses to other destinations. Exploring beyond Phuket. Let's dive into the world of bus travel from Phuket. Let's look at buses to other places. These buses are a gateway to new adventures. Phuket is great, but there's so much more to see in Thailand. The scenic routes are breathtaking and offer a glimpse into the country's natural beauty. Buses can take you to many exciting destinations. Each journey promises unique experiences and memories. They leave from Phuket Bus Terminal too. This terminal is always bustling with activity. This is the main bus station on the island. It's well-organized and easy to navigate. From Phuket, you can take buses to many places. The options are vast and varied. Popular destinations include Krabi, Koh Samui, and Bangkok. These places are must visits for any traveler. There are also buses to Khao Lak and Khao Sok National Park. These buses are comfortable. Many have air conditioning. Some even have Wi-Fi. This makes the journey pleasant and enjoyable. The cost of bus tickets varies. It's important to check the prices beforehand. It depends on where you're going and what type of bus you choose. There are options for every budget. A trip to Krabi might cost about 300 baht. It's an affordable way to travel. To Bangkok, it could be 1,000 baht or more. This is still a cost-effective option compared to other modes of transport. You can buy tickets at the bus station. The process is straightforward and convenient. Some hotels also sell bus tickets. This adds an extra layer of convenience for travelers. Bus travel is a great way to see more of Thailand on a budget. It's an experience that combines affordability with adventure. Section 10, comparing transportation options. What's best for you? Now that we've looked at all the options, let's compare them in more detail. Each way of getting around has good points offering unique experiences and conveniences but they also have some things that might not be so good, which you should consider before making a choice. Let's see what might work best for you, depending on your needs and preferences. Tuk-tuks are fun and iconic, adding a touch of local flavor to your journey. They're great for short trips and photos, making them a popular choice among tourists. But they can be expensive, especially during peak tourist seasons. Taxis are comfortable and good for longer trips, providing a more relaxed travel experience. They use meters, which is fair and ensures you pay a standard rate. Grab is convenient and often cheaper than taxis, especially if you book in advance. It's great if you have a smartphone. Songtaos are very cheap and widely available. They're good for budget travelers who don't mind a bit of a wait, but they can be slow and crowded, which might not be ideal for everyone. The airport bus is a cheap way to get from the airport to your destination. 
but it takes longer than a taxi, so plan accordingly if you're in a hurry. Motorbike rentals give you freedom to explore at your own pace, but they can be dangerous if you're not careful, so always wear a helmet and follow local traffic rules. Section 11, Conclusion, Your Phuket Adventure Awaits. We've come to the end of our transportation guide. Phuket has so many ways to get around, from fun tuk-tuks to comfy taxis, there's something for everyone. Each option offers a different experience of the island. Remember, it's okay to try different ways of traveling. You might use a song tail one day and a grab the next. Part of the fun of visiting Phuket is trying new things. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. You might discover a new favorite way to explore. I hope this guide helps you during your Phuket adventure. Remember to stay safe and have fun. Phuket is a beautiful island with so much to offer. Happy travels.